Alright, I think this is worth mentioning. This is a good thing to see for those of you who are doing a, uh, a 7M head gasket rebuild or head gasket replacement or full engine rebuild. Um, this is the lower timing plate, I believe it's called. Um, it is what mounts against the block. It's the aluminum piece, so the front half, the front lower half of the engine. So the head is right there, the block is right behind this. This plate needs to be installed when you machine the block surface. This plate needs to be installed when you install the head gasket. You need to put a uh, form-in-place gasket, FIPG, or uh, the Permatex great stuff or something like that. You need to put that right along that seam um, where this plate meets the block. If you do not, you will have oil all in here. Mine's nice and, and clean and dry, which is a perfect example of what it should look like when you seal that correctly. If you do not seal that, it is a huge pain in the ass. You can't really seal that with the gasket, with the head gasket installed. So if you miss that step in a rebuild, you gotta essentially tear everything apart again. So, FYI. That's why it's important to do that. So if you haven't seen that, I, I just figured that might be helpful to see. Lower timing plate, mounts to the block, needs to be in place when you machine the block for a metal head gasket, or if, you, if you're using the OEM, anytime you machine the block. If you machine the head, no big deal. You're not changing this surface or what mounts to it. If you don't machine this, you'll end up with the block just below this plate, and you're gonna have a little ridge there, and the head gasket will not seal. And you could get oil back and forth, and it, you just you don't want that happening. So there you go. Uh, a little FYI.